Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. You will see that I have got pack one of Agora Models Optimus Prime built here, all ready to go. If you haven't seen that video, I've put a link for it up here so you can actually see that. Today, I'm going to be doing pack two, got it here, of the Optimus Prime. <laughs> Now, whereas we had chapters in the last stage where we were doing the head, then we worked on the chest area and the lights. In this one, we're just working on one section all together, and that's just the left shoulder and arm. And there's me pointing to my right. I mean, my left, my left shoulder and arm. I can never figure that out. Now, if you like what you see, you want to get this for yourself. I have put a link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from back one. Now, tomorrow, I'm actually going to be in London at the MCM Comic Con. Agora Models are there and they have got their massive prototype of this Optimus Prime on display. So I'm going to be going down there and getting some footage of that. So please be make sure to uh, tune into the channel. I will get that up sometime over the weekend so you'll be able to see that. So just click that subscribe button. But today, Pack two, let's do this. Without further ado, let's get cracking. So there you go, that's everything that you get in this pack. So let's see how many trays we've got. We've got one, two, we've got three trays of stuff. And they look beautiful. Look at that, lovely massive pieces here. Now on this section, I am aware we're gonna need some glue need quite a bit of glue so uh, I have got that all ready to go here and here's the last one here as well as a matter of fact it's actually going to start with these sections here so I'm going to keep this tray open so the first thing I'm going to need as I said are these two sections here and quite simply it's a nice easy way to start this we're just going to be putting these together now they do go a certain way round so we just need to make sure they're lined up properly this way around here and they should be a nice fit like that we are going to be holding these together with some pb screws and as you can see i have them here so two holes just through this side get them screwed in it's one and two now i'm going to do a dry fit at the moment we're going to have this section here going over the top of this section like that but it's going to need to be glued in so let's get the glue sorted out and I'm just going to be applying this with my little pin vise. That's all this is, just a pin vise. Just around the edges here. Like that. And put this over the end. And that will hold in no problems at all. You can probably hear the birds outside squeaking. It's quite funny. I can't shut them up, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, the bottom section that's going to go just onto this bit here, like that, has got a little groove in there, which we're going to be putting some glue on. Now, the pictures on the instructions show you exactly where to put the glue for this. And this has got a D-shaped sort of pattern on it, so it can only go in one way, just like that. Now, can you see we've got a slot just on this section here? We're now going to be putting this section over the top, so that this slot here, when I put it over, is visible through this section just down here, like that. I'm then going to be taking this piece here and just doing a dry fit on this. This is going to be going into that slot just on this side here to keep that whole thing in, like that. Now they do want me to just put a little bit of glue once again, just on each side of this piece here. Now you can see I'm going very sparing on the glue. I'm not caking it in glue. Once again, line that up, push that all the way down. That's now going to hold this whole bit in here. Now there is two ends on this. One's got a shaven end, which needs to be towards this end here. The other end's quite, well, it's more high as you can see. So it's this end that we need towards the top. We can put that whole thing to one side and bring out the first metal part that we're working with that. Check that out. That looks great. And I want to bring over this tray again, looking like that, because it's this piece now that I want. Quite simply, that is just going to go into the center of this piece here and just push that down. Now, it is quite a tight fit, but they do want to make sure that this doesn't come out. So I am just going to be putting some glue just around the edges here. And that's going to seep in 
and stop that falling out. So that's what that looks like when it's in. Now this whole assembly here is going to be attached to what we've just put in earlier. So this is just going on here, just like that. And it's going to be held in by a 2.3 by 6 mil screw. Now all the screw packs are labelled. This is a 2.3 by 6 mil, And I'll get that screwed in. <laughs> That's looking good, isn't it? We can put that to one side because I'm now going to start creating some of the inner stuff here. And that means I need this piece looking like that. I'm also going to need some rods. These are metal and they look like that. There's four of these. So let's get these out. One, two, three, and four. I need some washers, which look like that. Four of them. And I need these little split rings as well, four of those. The only other thing I need is these PM three times eight mil hex screws here. Now, when we screw these in, we do need an Allen key and it comes with it. Look at that. So we've got that tool all ready to go. So it's just a case of taking one of these, putting a split ring over the top, then a washer. Then that's going to be going into one side of this point here, just like that. And it's going to screw into one of these metal rods here, which I can start off. And then when I want it to get it tight, I can just use this end and tighten it up. And I'm going to do that four more times. So I'll do one more screw, split ring, washer, through the hole, grab one of these metal rods and screw that on there and make it nice and tight. And I'll do that with the other two. When that's done, it should look just like that. Now this whole cage that we've just created here is going into the base here that looks like this. So these metal rods are just going in through the top here. Push them all the way through like that. So they can come out and in like that. We can see them from the bottom. And then we're doing exactly the same thing at the bottom. So a screw, a split washer, a washer, and then we're screwing this into the other side here. Once again, use the tool to get that nice and tight. And once again, I'm gonna do this, make sure that's tight with all four. You gotta love how much detail there must be in this build for three whole trays, just to make a shoulder and an arm. Gives you an idea of exactly what you're actually putting together here. Okay, I'm just putting the last screw in now. And there you go, that's in place. So now this can't come out, as you can see, it's locked. Now holding it this side, so you've got a flat end this side, and you've got an indent on this side. I'm gonna be putting one of these pieces here in. This is all metal. That's just gonna go in this side, just like that. And it's gonna be held in from the other side here with these smaller screws here, looking like that. Now, once again, we are using a split ring on these. Put this back in, make sure it's fitting flush in there. And they're going through this side. And then use the tool to make that nice and tight. Perfect. And then again, repeat that just for the other four holes. Once they're all in, they should look like that. Now you do want to check the orientation of it. If you look at this nut here, the flat side is at the top and the bottom there. If it's any way around, it means you've got this bit around the wrong way and it's going to need to be turned around. We can put this whole unit just to one side and I'm going to be getting out another version of this, which once again has got this part in again, which is just going to go in here. Once again, I'm just checking the orientation of this, making sure it's exactly the same with the flat side of the nut on the top and the bottom. Once again, the same little Allen screws here with a split ring. And this time they're going in from this side here. And just get them nice and tight. Once again, four of these. It does actually say on this bit, there's no 
particular direction for the parts. But uh, <laughs> force a habit. I've just done one and made sure it was aligned up properly. So, but yeah, this one, you don't have to worry. So that's what that looks like when it's done. So we're now going to be taking this piece here. And the way this is going to go, we're going to take what we did first, put this piece over the top like that. And then we've got the piece that we've just created, which is going to go over the top of the whole lot here. There is a slot for it to go down. Then we're going to be taking a 14 mil version of these hex uh, screws here. And once again, put a split ring on each one. And there's going to be four of these going in. So I'll get one in that will hold everything together there. Give you an idea of how this looks. Perfect. And then we're just going to be doing three more in those holes there. I'm glad the uh, tool comes with this because uh, I can't find my Allen keys at the moment. <laughs> They're somewhere in the workshop. No idea where. There you go. There's the last one in place. So now that's all attached. It looks like that. Should be able to go up and down still. Then I'm just going to be taking this section here with the raised section facing down. This slot here is going to fit into the slot that we've got at the top there. So when this goes in, it's going to go in just like that. And that's held in by 2.3 by 6 mil screws. If you remember, that was the black ones that we used at the start. And get this screwed in. And it should be sitting flat in there if you've relocated that screw the right way around should fit perfectly now this whole section that we've created here is going to go on what we created right at the start of this it's going to be this way around so the hole that we've got here that i've just lined up to make sure that that nuts in right is going to be on my right hand side this is going to go on just like that there and we've got some of these eight mil pm screws again once again with some split rings they're just going to go into the four places on each side and I'll just get that screwed all the way down. Do that three more times. And here we go. This is the last screw going in here. And that massive section we just created is now attached. Perfect. So that's looking just like that. Show you on the side camera. Now we've got these two covers to put on now. Now I'm going to do a dry fit because they do want these to be glued into place. So the one with the pegs on is going to go on this side and it's going to go this way round. So this is going to go kind of like that there. And then the one on the other side is going to match it by going onto this side here and then clip together in here. So what I'm going to do is drop some glue just into these holes here. Again, you don't need a lot of glue. But when we do push these together, we don't want there to be a gap. So push this in. Perfect. Nice tight fit there all the way around. We have now also got an empty tray. So I can put that on the floor. Lots of big parts now because it's this tray that I want. And it's basically this section here that I want first. And if you see this indent that we've got on this side here, that indent's going to fit around this section just here. So when that's on, it's going to go on like that. It's going to be held in with those black 2.3 by 6 mil screws. We need four of them. So get them in place. I'm enjoying this build. But I'll tell you what, if this is just the shoulder, it has gave me a nagging realisation of how big this model actually is <laughs> ginormous there we go that's it on that side turn it over and exactly the same on the other side you probably saw when i took that black piece out we've got another one just here again with that same indent so making sure that these parts are at the top this is going to go in and follow the angle of this metal as well once again held in with these black screws And there we go, that's both of those in. <laughs> it's really becoming, we've got a realization of how it's looking now. Excellent. We can put that whole thing to one side because I now need the piece that looks just like this. I've also got a bracket, which is like this here. 
that bracket's just going to go into the hole here. And then on the other side of this, I've got this fixture that looks just like that there. That's going to go over the top of this section. Just like that. And it's going to be held in with those black screws. So two of those. That's in place. Now I've got these metal, and these are metal, little sections that look like this. The larger side of these, which looks like a bolt holes, just going into these units here and push them down. So one, there's a certain way around these go when you push them in. And they might need a bit of percussive force to get them all the way in, just like that. Once again, this is just falling out. I'm going to put this back in there because I want to close that off with the other side here. This is going to go and pin the other side of this bracket here. Get that lined up. So the whole thing now fits into place like that. And this should be able to move. Now, once again, on the other side of this, got holes here for three of these black screws. So that's one, two, and three. Just have a good look at that part. Make sure it's looking good on both sides because we are just going to block up these holes where we put screws in now. We have got some little rubber stoppers here to put in those holes. And it's just a case of pushing them down. One, two, and three. Now on the top section of this, we've got these two points just here, which I'm about to put in. So the one with these brackets on each side, I'm holding it like that, is going to go in this side here. So like that. And the other one is going in from the other side, just like this here. Now through the center, I'm going to be putting one of these 8mm hex screws with a split ring. But this time on the other side, I'm going to be holding it in with a nut. So got that together put this side in here I'm gonna hold that in so I can get a nut in the other side it's gonna be a bit tricky this and get that tightened up perfect nice and tight there you go, that's held that piece in, no problems at all. Now I have a sleeve, which is a rubber sleeve, just to put over the top here. So it's stretchable, and there we go, it's made a nice sleeve at the top. So we're now going to be putting these brackets in here. The ones that's got the nut sort of like indent in there is going to be going on the back of this section towards this section here. It goes this way round with the flat piece on top. Then the other one is going to meet it on the other side over here. Just like that. Once again, we're going to be taking the 8mm with the split washer and a nut through the other side. So that's going to go through there. Put a nut on on this side. And then tighten that up. When you are screwing these in, just make sure you don't make them too tight on each side. You want to do it gradually, just so that they all take. As you can see there, I just need to loosen that one off just a touch, so I can get this top one in. And you do want this tight, because even though this is going to be a joint section here, you don't want the arms waving around. So just get that nice and tight on there. Now I know I can't move that with my hand, but when we've actually got this all together, I will be able to turn this. I can always loosen this off later but I'd rather it be on nice and tight now. I've then got this top piece just to put over the top here. This is a plate that's gonna go in like that. Once again, same screws, just through the bottom with a split ring. Coming out this side. And then once again, a nut on this side here to get this fully attached. 
four of these to put in. So I'll get these in. Once again, I'll show you what this looks like. Thank God for the long shaft on this uh, Allen key here. Because it does make this a lot easier to do. And this is the last one in there. And there we go, that plate's in position. Now, bringing over what we created earlier, we're actually going to be putting this plate into place. So I want it this way round, with this section here facing upwards. And that's just going to go on the underside of this section just here. It sort of slots in. So I'm just going to get this pushed in like that. So you see, on all sides. Now once that's in, we need to, on the bottom here, you can probably see a little slot post a nut in there. Once we've got that, we want to take a 10 mil. There's a 10 mil one of these screws, put a split ring on it. We want to get that through the hole over the, the nut. It's going to be very uh, difficult, this, but I've got it in and then tighten that up. And we're going to do the same on all four sides. <laughs> there we go. So that's one in. I'll just show you what that looks like. Do the same on this side and these two sides here. Quite a tricky way to do that, but once you've got it engaged, you should be good to go. Do the other side. This ain't as hard as you think it is actually. They do sit in there quite nicely while you're trying to screw in that <laughs> 10 mil screw here. This is the last one going in. Perfect, now that is attached to this main unit here. Now, we have this lovely bit of metal here. That's gonna be going over this front section just here. So it's gonna go on like this, and it's gonna go over the holes that we've got on this side, and this side at the back here. Once again, these black 2.3 by six mil screws are gonna hold this in. So that's two on this side. Turn it over, and I'm just gonna put two on the other side here. We can put this whole section just to one side for a second. We're moving on to the final tray now, and I need this brilliant detailed section looking like that, and this louved vent area like this. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be gluing these points here into this base. This is a symmetrical base, so it doesn't matter at the moment which way you put it in. It will do when we put the cover on. So let's put some glue on this. Perfect. And I'll just push that into place. Now I'm gonna be taking this lovely metal section now. Now this is where I am gonna to need to make sure this is in the right way. I'm gonna want this to fit over the top like that. So it's this way round. And I'm gonna screw that in with some PWM two times six mil screws. And they look just like that. Now that's screwed in from the underside here. So I'm just gonna put that in here. And it takes four screws. Now the bottom of these grills is what's going towards the front of the model. So when I bring over this arm here, this is the left arm, this is gonna be the front here. So this is actually gonna be going on top here like this. As you can see, this is the orientation. I've got these at the front. So these spacious sides are at the back and the bit that's going sort of down is at the front here. So they're in place of where they're gonna go. They're screwed in just from the bottom here with the black 2.3 by six mil screws. Hold that with my hand. Once I've got a couple of these in, it's gonna hold itself no problems at all. So that's two on that side. And just put two on the other side here. Gotta show you just on camera how that's looking at the moment. Check it out, it's ginormous. 
It's almost the same size as my shoulder. Okay, I'm now gonna be taking this metal section here and it's got a plaque plastic backing on it, which is just gonna go into this section like that. I need some PWN two times four mil screws. These are silver screws. They look like that. And that's what's gonna keep these in. These are flanged, but they do have, if I show you one, a little point at the end, as you can see there. So get these in. Not much to do now. I've really enjoyed this pack. This is going together so easy. So easy. Makes a change. <laughs> okay, here's the last one. I know you're telling me, put my part work upgrades mat down. No way, I'm not scratching the pieces. There we go, that looks like that. Bringing over the shoulder again. This section that we've just made here is gonna be going into this plate section just here. And what you wanna do is you wanna put it in from the bottom and then slide it up like that. Cause you have got these little forks in here, as you can see, they're gonna go underneath that. So put it in around about there, slide it up and it will hold itself in. Take one of the black screws. And that's just gonna go through this center hole here to keep that from coming back out again. And then I just wanna take this bit of trim here which has got some lugs in there, which are just going into the holes. And these just clip into position. Make sure you get it the right way around as well. So that's clicked in. And that one's clicked in on that side as well. So it makes a nice line around there. Excellent. Put that to one side again. Last little bits of detail that we're gonna do now. So then we're gonna be taking this section here and we've got the grill to put in here. It can only go in one way because of the way the lugs are. This is just gonna go in like this. Get that in position. And that's held in with one of these black PB two times four mil screws, just from the other side here. Excellent. So that looks like that. Bring over this section here, and this is just gonna go on top into these holes, line them up. Push that into place. It clips in, no problems at all. They are saying glue it, but you know what? Once that's in, I can't get that out, so I'm not gonna glue it into place. Put that over there. The last pieces we've got is this lovely metal piece here. Got a couple of brackets to put in. Again, with these little sort of like fork holders in. They are numbered. So this is number one. Number one's gonna go on that side, and this one says number two making sure they're facing upright towards you. They're gonna go in there. Again, we've got these silver PWN two times four mil screws, just to screw these in. One, two, three, and the last one, number four. And in the same way as what we've done with this side, this is just gonna go on this side here, this way around again, hold it around about there, and then just slide it up. To lock it into position again, we want one of the black screws. That's just gonna go in here. That'll keep that in place. I've got another bit of trim just to put over the side. So put one side in first, and then just clip the other side in like that. Sort of does it itself, to be honest with you. So that's him. Little bit of glue on this badge now. I love that, don't you? So let me get some uh, glue together. Just put it on these ends here. Again, not a lot. One on each side, that should be ample enough to hold it. And this is just going in this side here. One, two, and then push that down like that <laughs> last couple of pieces to put in now we've got this section here which is just going to go over this shoulder piece underneath here just so it lines up with the bracket holes that we've got there as you can see so when this is underneath i can actually see them from that side so that's one side put the other side on here like this making sure they go through those bracket holes just like that 
they're going to be held in with these black screws again the uh, ones that we've been using most of this build 2.3 by 6 mil to hold that together so it's one number two in here and then we do need one of the silver little pointy screws which is just going into the one at the bottom there slightly different screw there and then all that's left to do is to cover those by putting this plate in again they do want just a little bit of glue on each point around here to just put it together because this is the last thing to do on this build that's going to hide all those screw holes that we just put in there like that and that is all there is to do in that stage that's all there is to do in that pack i'm talking about stages but this was one whole stage as you can see look at it it's amazing it's brilliant i absolutely love it so you've got an idea of size now if i was to just put his chest piece out if this is the left side there the armor i don't know how we can uh it's ginormous it's ginormous his head would normally fit around about let me think again this is the left side head probably up here it's giving you an idea of how this is going to look but uh what do you think of that huh <laughs> this is going to start shipping shoot soon so you'll be able to get this for yourself but i really do hope you like that if you want to get this for yourself once again i have put a link down here to the agora models website and you can get this all the way from pack one but i really hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care